for sale? Won't you buy a freshly cut flower? Look you! She's selling flowers! Flowers being sold on the street! Luxembourg truly is out of this world! Huh? You mean, they don't sell flowers on the moon? Mais non! On the moon, flowers are rare and precious. They're not something to be bought or sold lightly. There you are. We were searching everywhere for you. Oh! It would appear our Minister of the Right is well aware of his lady's likings. Minister, we have taken a fancy to that orange blossom. You will procure it for us, yes? Yes. Why do I get the feeling you're not going to leave me alone until I do? For you, my princess. Quoi? Mais pourquoi? You have served your princess well, minister. We are most pleased. And here, Magnolia. This blue one is for you. this. It's lovely, of course, but how can you give two flowers to two girls at the same time? It makes no sense. Uh, it doesn't? When you give a flower to a lady, doesn't it, doesn't it mean you're asking for her hand in marriage? Uh, the marriage? Well, wait, wait, wait a minute, Magnolia. There must be some sort of misunderstanding. You're... you're... you're talking about on the moon, right? De quoi tu parles? So you mean, when we first met, that flower you gave me? You were unconscious, and I used it to revive you. This can't be! I... I see. <laughs> How silly of me, right? I mean, how could I ever think? I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't explain myself well enough. Don't be sorry, you. I should have known better. After all, who would... Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm gonna crawl into a deep, dark hole. J just so everyone is clear, this is not our fault. You are aware of this, yes? Look over there! If it isn't Tiz and Idia! Over here! Uh, here we are! Oh, Yoko! We've been looking all over for you! Why do I get the feeling I just walked in at the worst possible time? No, it's nothing. I wonder how Commander Goodman is doing. I'll go check. Wait, M Magnolia! Say, Yoko, uh, did something happen while we were gone? Just a fleeting misunderstanding, nothing more. <laughs> but how amusing. I think I shall not tire of you soon. Oh, back so soon? We just wanted to check in on Commander Goodman. How's he doing? Quite well, thank you. He's been resting comfortably in bed and just woke up not long ago. He even has his appetite back. I offered him some sweets from the festival and he wolfed down an entire cake. Great! Sounds like there's nothing to worry about. It's all thanks to you. Truly, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. As a small token of our thanks, won't you spend the night? It would be our pleasure to have you. Truly? The pleasure would be all ours. Good morning, everyone. Morning, you. I heard the story from Magnolia. Don't beat yourself up about it. I mean, even I didn't realize that she... You know. I know, but just thinking of what I put her through. Good morning, everyone. Oh, uh, good morning, Magnolia. You, I'm sorry about yesterday. Please, just forget about it. No, Magnolia, I should be the one... No, truly, it's fine. Really, I'm fine. Hmm. <sighs>
Morning, everyone. Shall we be off? Yes, let's. We should thank Eleanor once more before we take off. Eleanor, thanks again for your hospitality. We'll be going... Huh. Does it seem strangely quiet in here? Eleanor? Eleanor! Uh, perhaps she's out. You! Something's not right here. Huh? What in the... Where is everyone? There's not a soul in the streets. Perhaps they all went somewhere as part of the festival. Wouldn't we have heard about it? I was interviewing people about the history of Hearts Fest last night, and no one mentioned... Ah, oh, way to go, Six Star. What were they saying? Huh, do you have to keep bringing that up? Just wait a minute. What? What in the world? You? Did something happen to your diary? Life is like an onion. Layer by layer you peel away, only to find yourself in tears. But saute the pieces in olive oil and... Ah! Uh, you might find the result surprisingly sweet. But let us speak of onions another time. Today, I have come to offer you an apology. Forgive me, for I did not mean to cause you concern. On the contrary, I sought only to help you in some small way. While I would like nothing more than to meet you face to face, I fear that things are not quite so simple. For the time being, know this. I am a friend. And while I consider myself kindly and know my way about the seas, I am not by any means. A stalker. Bon courage. May fortune ever smile upon you in your travels. Uh, Who wrote this? Not me, that's for sure. It wasn't me either. And if it wasn't me... That, that leaves... Uh, us? You cannot be serious. Why, we did not even know that our minister kept a diary until this very moment! Judging from his words, it would seem to be the same person who guided us here to Eisenberg. Right! If I recall, he was going on about vegetables then, too! R right That was before you even met us! Does that mean this man with the purple pen is following us? Maybe it's... Stop it, will you? Didn't I tell you that if there's one thing I'm scared of, it's ghosts. Hey, I don't like them either. Why did I say that? If someone had followed us all the way here, we'd have noticed by now. Wow, sir. Cool and collected even at a time like this. Alright, I've got it. Our culprit? is the ghost of a kindly, seafaring, gardening stalker. We must be on our guard! This town? The diary? Strange things are happening all around us. For all we know, an asterisk holder might be just around the corner. Let's search the town, and stay alert. Look, there's someone! Why, that is... Anisama! Anisama, is it truly you? How I miss you so! Yoko, what are you doing in this place? I was searching for you, Anisama. Oh, how far I traveled, braving fearsome beasts and an ever-grumbling tummy. 
I see. Pray forgive your unworthy brother. Well, there's nothing like a heartwarming family reunion. Our pampered little princess sure sounds different when she's talking to her big brother, huh? Hmm? I do not believe we have met. Oh, these are the kind people who traveled with me. They fed me when I was hungry, and kept me company on my journey. Is that so? Then I too am in your debt. I am Danzaburo, a disciple of the sword. On behalf of my sister, I offer my deepest gratitude. Oh, don't mention it. I'm sure you'd do the same for us. By the way, Dunsaburo, would you know anything about where everyone in town has gone? I fear I do not. I arrived in this city not minutes ago. I see. And with that, Yoko, you have imposed on these kind strangers enough. We should return home to Yunohana. I would love nothing more than to do just that, Onisama. But I fear our only way home is being blocked by this dreadful woman. We were looking for a way to cross Eisenbridge too, but I'm afraid we're up against quite a fearsome foe. Is that so? Then perhaps I can be of some assistance. Might I accompany you to this bridge? But, of course. So tell us, Don Zabro, why'd you set out on this journey? Put simply, it is but one step in my lifelong pursuit of the martial arts. I would wander the land and face many trials that I might achieve greater mastery of the blade. A journey to improve your swordsmanship? I bet you'd get along great with my master. Swords and swordsmanship are everything to me. So it has been for as long as I can recall. Nothing gives me greater happiness than the feeling of my blade rushing through the air. <laughs> A real bladed maniac, huh? Watch your tongue, Minister. Our Anisama is the greatest swordsman in the realm. Speak ill of him in our presence, and we shall have him chop you to pieces. To pieces! Whoa, whoa, whoa. watch where you swing that! Enough of this silliness, Yoko. You are frightening your friends. As you wish, Anisama. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you looking at us like that, Minister Yu? Oh, do not tell us that you are jealous. No, no, it's nothing like that. I was just thinking how nice it is the way you two get along. Oh, this is true. Our Anisama is strong and loyal, and handsome. We hold him in the highest esteem. Yoko can be a spoiled child at times, but she is my sister, and I care for her deeply. Anisama, you are truly too sweet. Yeah, it really is nice. Hmm. Now there's just the matter of how we're going to get across this bridge. Something tells me the lady with the gun isn't going to be very obliging. Get your tukis over here! I'll blast you five ways to Sunday! As feisty as ever. This isn't going to be easy. Worry not, friends. I have a plan. Perhaps you have heard, but this bridge was constructed directly atop an ancient aqueduct. One which remains standing even today. Should you cross via the aqueduct, it would place you right behind the woman. If we catch her at close range, she won't be able to get off a shot. Precisely. I shall divert her attention. Make for the aqueduct while she's looking away. Are you sure you can manage all by yourself, Danzaburo? Worry not. Notwithstanding my sister's boastings, I have some skill with a blade. I will keep her occupied. Go safely, friends.
Huh? Who the heck are you supposed to be? Danzaburo, the Lightning Blade. Hito of the Five Swords of Yunohana challenges you to a duel. <laughs> Just like a fee bringing a knife to a gunfight. You got a death wish or something? My blade will speak for itself. Come! Ha! Like I needed an invitation! Say your prayers, chump! Uh, did you just... cut my bullet in two? Behold! Become one with the blade, and the impossible becomes possible. Hmm. It's a neat trick, I'll give you that. But I'm just getting warmed up. That was amazing, Danzaburo! Alright, this is our chance! Let's go! Fight bravely, our minister. Inform us when you are ready to enter the aqueduct. Secret passage, just as Donzabro said. It's obviously abandoned, but you can see traces from when the aqueduct was still in use. Well, what's this here? It's a kunai. Rusted and useless now, though. And look at this. Clothing, makeup, wigs. Now I see. The Black Blades used this passage when they infiltrated Heart's Child. 
I've never met these black blades, but they must have been a formidable lot. What makes you say that? Can't you feel it? The gaze of monsters in the shadows, watching our every move. I feel it too. On your guard, everyone! Thank <laughs> you. 